Think about it, I've got... How many high runes have I found in Diablo 2? I found two bur... Two bur rune, two jar rune, and three low runes in the past two months, guys. That's two bur runes, two jar runes, and three low runes. Imagine if I use that effort to try to get late or something. Maybe I will have more success with the high runes. What are the chances of getting a bur rune, you know? You guys know? The chances of this one of these cows dropping a bur rune, any one of these cows over here, is one out of 700,000 in players 1. In place 7 is about 1 of 350k. So imagine if you compare that to the chances of you getting late for every girl you talk to. Do you think the chances of you getting late is higher or lesser than 1 out of 350k? It's probably higher, right? It can't be 1 out of... <laughs> It can't be one out of 350k, right? Maybe like... Maybe like one out of... 20? One out of 10? <laughs> to be realistic. So imagine if all this time you're killing cows, right? For each cow you kill, you're actually like... Talking to a chick. Basically the question is... How much is the equivalent of two bur runes, three low runes, and two jar runes found in the span of two months since Diablo 2 Resurrected came out? How much is the equivalent of that in pussy? My god. I probably have HIV right now. And like... I hate the you know the new COVID strain of the HIV COVID variant. I probably be down with that right now. I mean, imagine the time, guys, the time that we've spent on this game. For every cow run you did, you actually went for an actual run, <laughs> an actual run outside around your neighborhood, like a jog. I think you'd have a six pack by now. If I did a sprint for every cow run I did outside around my neighborhood, I think I'd give Usain Bolt a run for his money by the end of the year. Usain Bolt will be terrified of me. This guy works harder than no one else. Did you get tired of your Javazon? I saw your YouTube video first before going here. Did I get tired of my Javs on? Yes, I did. Because you only have two skills that you use as Javs on. Two skills. One, the first skill you use is Lightning Fury for AoE. So the second skill you use is Charge Strike for single target. That's all. Left click and right click. Two skills. Two skills, warrior. Oh, you created Javazon because of the video? Oh, nice bro. I mean, enjoy it man, enjoy it while, while it lasts, you know. It's the same thing with everything. It's not just Javazons. Everything, eventually you'll get sick of it. Like, you know, maybe you find a nice girl, you know, you've, you, you're in love with her for the first couple of years. You guys get married, everything seems to be going well, but, you know, 10 years down the road, 10 years down the road, the girl you married, you know, is no longer the same. Now she looked like cow. She looked like one of these cows. Hell bovine. My wife is a cow. Is a nice. She strong on plow. When I buy her, she cook good, but uh, 
three years later, when she uh, turned 15, and she grew hair on chest, and her voice become deep, then her virgin hang like sleeve of wizard. So enjoy it while it lasts. This is my point. The Javazon is fun. In the prime. Variety is the spice of life. You need to have multiple classes to keep it fresh. I mean, there's... Eventually, you'll run out of classes. It's the same thing with your wife, right? <laughs> you can only have one. So what's the solution? You're gonna... Find another wife even when you get sick of her. The solution is never depend on another person or another external thing for happiness. Yeah, it's funny how you can apply so many things in Diablo 2 to to life. Cause life is like uh you know, if you think about it, life is like a it's like a It's like making a character in Diablo. You know, you, you start off with an idea like who you wanna be. Some people find success, right? You know, they find success in the builds that they play. Like maybe since young you wanna become a doctor and then you know t everything goes according to plan and you're a successful doctor, which is very rare. You know, for most people, it's like, okay, I'm going to make a... I want to play a... I want to play a Bozon. Right? Maybe they have, they have some aspirations when they're young. I want to play a... I want to make a Bozon. And then you go to Bozon school, you go... You, you get a degree in Bozon. You study. And then you try to become a Bozon. But then later in life, you you realize like, shit, man, this isn't what I wanted. Boson sucks. This is trash. This is a fucking trash build. I thought I was gonna be a someone significant. I thought I was gonna do actual damage in the game. But turns out that your boson dreams were were just an illusion. The actual reality is Boson is shit. And what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do at like level 50? Each level no, level 45, you know, like at each 45, what are you gonna do? You're gonna respect? You're gonna respect? After spending all that time learning about Boson in school, 40 levels of Learning a boson. You're gonna respect now to Lightning Fury Javazon? If you really want to, you can. It's never too late, right? You can always respect. <laughs> it's never too late. So the moral of the story is life doesn't go according to plan. Always. You may have expectations, you may have like an idea that oh okay, I'm gonna become a boson one day. You know, I'm gonna become I'm gonna prepare myself for that, it's gonna be great, but you know, in actual reality, maybe it's not so great. I mean, maybe you might have to change, you, you have to adapt, right? You have to, you can't, imagine if you didn't respect and then you just said, fuck it. Fuck it, I'm just gonna become a boson, I already spent too much time invested in this anyway, I can't change now. So what, what's gonna happen? Because you, you don't adapt. You end up wasting your... You end up suffering. <laughs>